Hey, we're in a different house. What happened? Uh, Mike was hey, too much shut your mouth. Uh, who, me? Who, me? We uh, got kicked out. It's no big deal. Cops were on our door. It's whatever. Typical Tuesday. And so Mike said, I'm scared. And I said, Mike, don't be scared, bro. I'll take you. And so we all decided to get a hotel room together. We call this dude ranch. Show the view. It's a beautiful view. Show where the magic happens. That's the bathroom, actually, I was referring to. So we checked in here. We got a great deal. Mike negotiated. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Single and ready to mingle, ladies. How many lady viewers do you have? At Are least, you? at least three. Uh, no sex before marriage, guys. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Come on, man. Well, then we'll get you a wife. Okay. I don't, oh, I don't get it. I don't get it. Okay, guys. Oh, okay. <laughs> what else is going on? Mike is the best at delegating other people to film content for him. He'll just take the camera, turn it on someone. What? Like, Fill my vlog with entertainment. I'm vlogging, <laughs> but not me. The point but is, the point is to show my friends, not just to show my fat face. All right. You don't have any friends in this room. Why are your pants off, dude? Oh, it's twelve oh, o'clock oh, in the Ryan. afternoon. Yeah. A savage Ryan that's off camera is coming on camera. Yeah, why are you being rude? Why are you chapsticking up on my channel, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Twenty degrees. Want to tell a bitch, please? Okay. Twenty degrees. Want to tell a bitch, please? Is it twenty? I, 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 it was twenty this morning, and 20 it feels now. about the same right now, bro. It's cold. It's cold. It's man. below freezing. Yeah. What's what's your meter say? We're Cali kids. These boys from California. It says it's cold. It says oh, it's cold. Oh, it said, bro, it's cold. Too cold for <laughs> too cold for some sweatpants. Yeah, but they're well, wearing more than we are. They're from Canada. I know, but that's because they're actually prepared. It's yeah, not about actually what you can handle. That's true. Yeah, the human body can handle the same amount. So we got about a 15 minute hike, especially if these guys get on their horse. I need to move fast. Let's see Wim Hof. <laughs> Let's see your best Wim Hof. Hit the Wim Hof. I'm not hit doing, the Wim Hof, I'm not bro. Doing the Wim Hof. Omar, hit about. your best Wim Hof right now. Impersonation? Well, bro, it's cold out here. Hit, me, hit a Wim Hof. I would, I would literally, if we had time, start stripping off all my shit. <laughs> like, if, if we weren't late to Solace, Wim that's Hoff what I'd do. You Dude, just Wim Hof the whole way there? I'll fucking do it. And when we get a solace, I'll just start. Yeah, I'll him. He actually did a seminar. Uh, one of his guys at Forest Fitness, and uh, Sean did it. Sean's always my hero. Yeah. Where uh, you're supposed to do a whole like, like balancing, like centering yourself yeah, before like a meditation, you enter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and Sean like missed it because he was like too busy working. He stepped inside the pool, the frozen like pool. Everyone else is complaining. Like, oh my god, this is that. He's like, put more ice in there. He's like, come on. Lasted the Fuck, it's loud. We got 15 minutes. See you with Solace. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the gym session of the century. There's little old me, little old Omar, and we're surrounded by a bunch of freaking monsters. So I got there early. Omar wanted to grab a snack or a juice. Uh, me and the homie Ryan sped ahead because it was freezing cold. Uh, and before everybody got there, I wanted to get my quote unquote mandatory work done. So when I travel and because I travel and because of business and content and things, there's a certain amount of lifts, frequency and volume that I have on my head, uh, kind of a minimum amount that I think I need to progress that I want to hit when I travel. And so this trip promised myself I'd grab two uh, squat sessions, one or two uh, deadlift sessions, and then two uh, bench sessions minimum. So Continuing with kind of my linear periodization on the comeback, uh, I believe today was 365 for sets of five. Uh, and although it looks like I'm absolutely smashing them at the time, it felt extremely freaking heavy. Uh, as I talked to you uh, today, um, we're continuing that periodization. And every time, because it is a heavier load than I've touched in now going on almost uh, you know three months, because I took two months completely off, plus the one month rebuild or so, I have been squatting. It is. It's a new stimulus that I haven't touched in a very long time. Pretty happy with my form. Reach and depth, pretty dang easy. Everything feels tight. Everything feels comfortable. Obviously, my quads and low back are quite out of shape, so they're taking a little bit of a beating. Uh, but generally speaking, both squats and deadlifts feel great, although this is still, you know, 60%, under 70%. I'm probably talking shit. Who knows what I'm saying? Uh, next, the big boy showed up. And uh, Oak on the menu had some overhead press and bench. So uh, because content, because when in Rome, do as the Romans do, 
uh, decided to hop in with him. I think he wanted to hit a one rep max PR. Um, I had no real goal for the overhead, so I decided, sure, uh, I'll hit a one rep max. The homie Kiger had um, a bunch of reps. I think he did sets of five to six, don't quote me. Uh, and then Omar was just getting some general volume in as well. Uh, Omar, although I'm slightly stronger him in the squat bench and deadlift, uh, overhead, um, not even pound for pound because I am heavier than him, just straight up uh, is a beast and would probably crush me. I think he did 195 or so, uh, and he's weighing about a 180 uh, and crushes it for five. Uh, I ended up doing maybe 205 for three and then 225 for one. Uh, pretty dang grindy rep. All of a sudden, I don't know how, I don't know when, my entire freaking lifting career, besides perhaps the deadlift, uh, I've been pretty dang bad at grinding reps. Uh, and all of a sudden, with bench and overhead, your boy learned how to grind. I don't know how. Maybe I'm just going to it casually. Um, I really don't know why or how. Nothing's changed in my training. Uh, the only thing that's changed mentally is I'm even more casual, although I've kind of always been kind of a cerebral lifter, but I've been more focused on my lifting itself. Uh, recently, I've just gotten very, very good at grinding for no apparent reason. I've gotten more casual, uh, carrying a little bit less, and I know that's what people are going to say. Well, you care less, you got... That doesn't work. That's fucking fake. Uh, and we had Teron in the house. Homie Teron Beckham, uh, I think, tried to go for a single, a little bit above 250, don't quote me. And then he ends up uh, crushing 225 for some reps. Overall, um, cool energy, cool to train with people, especially now uh, with my schedule uh, at home. I basically train by myself uh, two or three times a week, literally at a commercial gym or anywhere. Uh, and then I train once or twice uh, with Connor uh, or Alan or the combination of both. Kiger, I don't know what he weighs, but he was just smashing on whatever it ended up being. This is one, shit, maybe 210? Looks like 10, five, two and a half. Don't quote me. Uh, but he's crushing them pretty good. Um, where, shit, anything above 180, 175 starts to be really, really heavy for me. I can manipulate, you know, 135 to 175 pretty good on the overhead, but for some reason, I put in a decent amount of work on it. Um, I just tend to be a little bit better with dumbbells, uh, whether it's dumbbell overhead, um, or even, are those cuts coming on the triceps? Ladies and gentlemen, are we finally getting lean? Is them some cuts coming in on them triceps? And this fucking animal who, don't quote me again because all my facts are artificial, but I think Oak benches around 550 or so, I think is his best in competition. Um, he ends up crushing 320. Uh, he takes 295 for a go on overhead and it becomes absolutely insane. There's Sharon trying to push up 275 strict. Uh, a little too heavy today. Here's my 225, which, like I said, grindy. I guess in video it doesn't look that grindy, but in my head I was underneath that barbell for at least 10 seconds. Here's 320, ladies and gentlemen. Absolute monster overhead press. Not a lot of guys are crushing this. I know Jeremy Hamilton's pretty dang good at overhead. He gets it moving pretty well, and I think it just gets in front of him, and once he finds out where it is, he crushes it back into place. Uh, Jeremy Hamilton, I think, is around that range. Dan Green, obviously. Then I just move on to close grip. Just wanted to get a little bit more pressing in uh, before the day was done. Everybody else started doing different things, a little bit of video, etc. Hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Smash the thumbs up for the voiceover. Enjoy the vlog. I'm so tired. Barely worked out. I'm at the table with a bunch of animals. Big, beastly animals. It's not the Olympian, huh? Bro, they don't know. I didn't show your face. They brought you ketchup, bro. Thanks. Just right? Yep. Bro, Tom, what we did today. This is called, this is going to be called Mike and Friends, the vlog. I'm really good at delegating. What did we do today? Uh, Mike did three sets. Everyone else did about ten sets. Um, Mike did overhead press. You did 225. You got that for a rep. That's all right. That's good. Close to a PR for never doing a overhead. Wow, you're really fishing for praise here. It was quite good, my man. No, you it didn't. wasn't that good. It's too small no, goddamn five, but I'm not mad at it. We squatted 365. Mm -hmm. I did some chin-ups. I benched 225. There's a lot of strong guys people and people in the gym. Now I'm back here. I'm exhausted. Tomorrow we got another long day of podcasting. I love you. I don't know what to do with my hands. Goodbye. Bye. Why is it so hard to say goodbye? <laughs> you should just keep riffing on it for like 10 minutes. Bye. Hello. Bye. You gotta make a 10 minute video. Bye. Channel one, baby. Bye.
Ten o one. I'll never say goodbye to you. No, to them. Them. Oh, to them. Oh no, not them either. Why? Look at that photo, yo! Look Bye? at the photo that Els took. Just, just chill. Yeah, for a he's second. good, dude. Dude, Els is great. Yeah, he's amazing. He makes you look distinguished. No, he, he's. So amazing. you're actually thinking about something other than food. That's actually why I grabbed my thing. I wanted to post my 365 um, squat, but I might have to post that. That looks. Yeah, amazing. he's fucking talented. Go follow Els underscore photo Instagram. Go do that shit. Bye. The post it for your Instagram. I love you. Today. I love you. Bye. Are you still saying bye to them? You gotta so learn how to say bye. So here's how you say bye. Wow. We're zoomed in. We're zoomed in. Why are you coming so aggressive? Why are you coming so? I'm up? leaving. I don't. I, I don't say anything. I oh, just, just. What's that called? The Irish goodbye. It's called the Omar goodbye.